All right, so we're back and we finished building the kit. Um, <clears throat> we didn't show the part of where we had to wire this up. It was a little tricky actually, but basically what we did is, um, just to keep it simple, we tied a knot back here and then we started wrapping the, the, the rope around it. <clears throat> then we just ran one single strand up through this pulley here and actually just came off. So we ran it up through this pulley here down this one here to this pulley down to this one around and then we just tied it off down here over here now it's pretty nice pretty good it's pretty stable for the most part remember this is going to be able to move around and do things and grab things but one thing that we want to do <clears throat> that we notice like you know if we want to try to pick something up this is going to topple over and this also puts a lot of pressure notice how this bends so we're going to go ahead and reinforce it a little bit just for now this is not part of the kit. This is not part of the instructions. We are doing this of our own accord. So, we're just going to kind of experiment it with it right now. So, what we're going to do to reinforce it is that we're going to use some of these here. And we're going to grab a bunch of rivets. And my favorite color is orange, so we're going to grab the orange rivets for now. I hope they work. So I don't know how many I'm going to need, so I'm just going to grab a bunch right now. Until I figure out what's going to be done. Okay, so what it looks like I'm going to have to do is reinforce it somehow. So if I can somehow get two rivets in. doesn't look like it so we're not only going to get one so what's going to happen is this is what we're going to do we're putting a cross brace here I guess that's what it's called and what that's going to do is going to divert the, the all the force that's being implied this can be diverted here and it'll push downward okay so that should give it some sort of stability okay and we're going to try to make it just right Okay, so that's one, and we'll show you in a bit exactly what we did. Oops. And that's two. So you can see we just put that there, and we're going to do the same on the other side. On the same exact spots, obviously. And we're just gonna put this in place and then experiment to see, okay, how did it go? Is it right? Is it helping? So that does seem to give it a little bit. But I still see that we have some more because since there's two pieces of this arm, we have this piece, which is bracing this piece, but now we have this piece, which is also a little bit loose. So to keep that from flexing, we're gonna have to think about this because we actually don't have the pieces for it. Ideally, we could brace it somehow. So let's see if we have more pieces here. They're going to help us brace that. So what I'm thinking is that we're going to have to follow the same technique that we did in the previous one, except that we're going to have to come around the back. Now what I'm thinking is that we could probably take these off. So we're just experimenting with this now. That's why we don't know exactly how it's going to be. So I'm going to take off the braces I put beforehand, and I'm going to move them over to the front portion. 
I'm just going to pick a spot and see what happens. And I think I'm going to need So, let's see what I can do with this here. Okay, so this is basically what I have to work with. How can I do this? How can I brace this so that I might have just found a solution. So I'm actually going to extend these, connect them, and then I'm going to put a brace here and see how that works out for me. So we've got one there. Now it does move around. So before I start doing the other side, let me see how I can brace this again. Okay, I think I've got it. So that's what we've done there. Sure enough, this is a lot stabler on that side. So we've put three pieces together with this cross brace, and that's only going to give us a little more strength where we want it. putting it on the exact same hole from the other side and for this to be complete looks like we're going to have to use a white one on this one let me just see yep, we got to use a white one switch out the black one that I put on the other one just to make it consistent
So there we have it. So yeah, that definitely feels a lot better. Um, I don't think we're gonna need it over here. This part we're not gonna be able to get rid of because basically you're on a platform and the servo is only mounted to the servo horn on the bottom here with four of these. So you're always gonna have a bit of that flex. You could probably put some more holders on the bottom here, more legs, just to make it so that it doesn't move around that much. But you know what? We're not gonna be lifting heavy things with this. This is good enough for now. So in the next videos, we'll be talking about <clears throat> programming and connecting to it and working with it. We're done. Here you are. Here's the crane from Robotis Olo kit in the inventor book. So good luck building this, and I hope it uh, was uh, informative and this was helpful. I know that this was a long video. Um, we're going to try to chop it up and make it a little bit easier on you. But uh, let's see what we can do. Take care. See you in the next one.